Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript tricky interview question that is related to the type question. So let's see that. So you have something like this. So you have a if block here, the you, you need to make this condition true. We need to make this condition as true and this alert should pop up. So that is a challenge. We should not change any code here and you can write whatever the code you want here. Okay, fine. So everyone confuses with this part. So how can a should will be equal to one will be equal to two and will be equal to three. It should be equal to all these three things, right? Then only you can go inside this alert because you are using logical and so now everyone gets confused at this point. But the tricky part here is we are using there are asking with the what they wrote. There are wrote double equals. So it means loose equality comparison operator. This is not a strict equality. This is a loose equality comparison operator. When we use this operator double equal to JavaScript engine will perform type cohesion. It will perform the type cohesion. So when it performs a type cohesion, it will call the JavaScript will call value of function. So internally this happens. So if you use double equal to JavaScript engine will try to do type cohesion. It means JavaScript is going to call the value of function. So this is what happens internally. So fine, we know uh, if we know this part, so we can solve this. Now see, I'm taking one constant a equal to I'm creating an object here. In this object, I will name a property called name and I will give this as a one. So I will explain you why I have given this as one. But understand I have created one object and I'm giving name and one. Now to this object, what I will do, I will override the value of function. So I'm taking the value of as a property to this object and I will assign the function to it. So I'm assigning a function to it like this. So now what we are doing. So internally now th this value of function will not be called. So whatever the value of function you given that value of will be called. So when a equal to double equal to one. So what happens a this value of method will be called when it tries to do uh, type question it will call this method our method because we have overridden the value of function of the javascript okay now a dot value of this is a property name and we have given the function of so here what we'll be doing is we will return this dot name it means the number which is here and what we do is we do post increment plus plus one so it means we are adding one so if you do this this results into true so we'll be getting this alert. So let's see the output first and let me explain you what I wrote here. So we got true. So let me refresh this once again. Yes, we got true. It means this condition became true. So now let's understand what happened behind the screens. A is double equal to one. When you, this condition is executed, what happens? A is double equal to one. Then it applies the type question. So it is a loose operator, right? So JavaScript tries to call the value of a function. So this function would be executed. It will go to this function. Okay. Now what happens? This function is going to return this dot number means one. Okay. We are returning one here. Wantedly, we are returning here one. So it will not increment by that time. So you will get only one because you have given one. Now what you will be having in the place of A, you will be having one. So this condition becomes true. So that is the reason the first value when we given this object. That's the reason we have given this as one. The key can be anything. The value that is the reason I kept it as one because at the first check it should evaluate one. So that's the reason I have given this as one. So once this is returned back now this dot number becomes two because you have post incremented it right now. This dot number is what what is available in this, this dot number. Now you have two here now. After this is true, right? Then we'll go to the this condition to check. Okay. And this condition is like app is double equal to two. Now again, we'll be calling this function. Now it go back here, return this dot number. Now this dot number is two. Okay, it will return back the two. Now it is two. And again, you are incrementing this. This increment will not impact immediately. Okay. That is the reason you have incremented this. That's the reason you are writing the post increment here because for the next value the value of this number should be incremented with one so that is the reason for the first when it is checking the here it needs to evaluate with one so that's the reason i have given it as one so when the it is true it will be validated with the a equal to two that's the reason what i did while it is returning back the one value only i have incremented post incremented it with one so when it is written back the value of a would be one so after it called 
a dot value of then this this dot number will have two as a value so that's the reason this condition becomes true again and after that again it would be post incremented so now here what happens this dot number now in this time it becomes three now what happens this dot become number becomes three and when you're trying to check this a double equal to three this value of function be executed and this returns this dot number it means it returns three so in this way you can achieve you can write all this condition a can be equal to one two three so here what we did we have created an object and given one and we are post increment it why we are post incrementing it because to make sure that the next value while you are equating this next value should also become true that's the reason you are post incrementing this so if you use the triple equal to logic here so this results into fail because you will be using a strict equality okay then you will not ask the type cohesion to do an automatic conversions okay you will not ask javascript or javascript engine to do the type automatic type conversions if you use strict double e, triple equal to what happens no type conversion would be happen so that's the reason if you anyone uses triple equal to it will never becomes true only if it is double equal to the tricky part is when it is double equal to you need to override this value of and you need to give this as one initially because it needs to create one equate to one and you need to re return back this with post increment plus plus so if you not increment this plus plus what happens this would be returned only one at any time it would be written one it, it will not become true that's the reason we are returning this with incrementing by one so that it would be in the order so for example if i modify this order to four will this become true no it will not become true because it is in an order we are incrementing this in a post like post increment one two three like that's we are incrementing if you give a as four if you modify the value here this logic will not work as work so that's the reason whenever it is having a sequential order then that's the reason we are giving this post increment like this hope you understand the video so this is the logic behind this tricky type question thing so now let me show you this is our channel rethinking your channel so like this we have a number of javascript interview questions and coding challenges as well and many interesting topics related to the front end development have a look at our channel if you like the content please subscribe for the channel and stay tuned thanks for watching